Hey there. You good to talk? Good. I am sorry that I walked away and refused to speak to you. I was angry and I needed to remove myself from the conversation before I said something that I couldn't take back and didn't mean. Not really. I know that of all the things you were talking to me about, what you were ultimately expressing was a need for reassurance. But it was coming off as jealousy. And with jealousy, it felt like it wasn't just that you needed reassurance, it felt like I was being accused of having done something wrong. I get that just because that's what I heard doesn't mean that's what you were saying. By the same token, just because you felt like you weren't as important to me doesn't mean that you weren't as important to me. I'm sure it couldn't have felt good when you were already feeling that way and I walked off and stonewalled you as opposed to talking it out. I've said things in the past that um, I shouldn't have said that hurt your feelings. And I, even then, am so much better than I used to be. But I've still got a long way to go. So sometimes, if I have to walk away, it's not because I don't care. It's, it's never because I don't care. It's, it's because I do care. I care about not letting my anger express itself in destructive ways. Because... I am good at saying cutting things when I feel backed into a corner. I am good at saying mean things when I'm angry or feeling attacked. And I was beginning to feel attacked. I'm not saying that you were attacking. I'm saying that that's the way I felt. So I got out of there. That was all about me. That was not about you. But I really had to walk away before I said something that would be emotionally destructive. I'm sorry I don't have a better way of dealing with it. I mean, I mean, I know I did something hurtful when I walked away. But I also know that it was less hurtful than it would have been if I'd stayed. I wish I were a better person who would never be on the cusp of saying something nasty, but I'm not. I hope you can forgive me for walking away to stop myself from doing that. I, I know it feels rough to hear that I wanted to say nasty things to you, but I mean, come on, you saw the way I walked away. You know that I wanted to say nasty things. I'm... 
I'm really sorry. I hope you'll forgive me. But whether you do or whether you don't, would you like to talk about it again, uh, calmly? And if, if, if things start to get a little hairy in this conversation, I start to feel a little defensive, I will try to navigate that before I get to the point of wanting to say something nasty. Maybe I'll, I, I don't know, I I'll ask if we can take a break from the conversation for just a little bit and then come back. It, it just takes a little while. It takes a little while for that flare of stress to die down and I can talk again. Can we do that? Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, I know it felt like you were being left out of the conversation and that it was rude and I don't have a lot of excuses for that. On the one hand, I can't control what a bunch of people are talking about, but I also didn't bring you in and include you in the jokes that I understood. And, and I know that it felt like it was all a bunch of in-jokes and things that you couldn't be included on, but um, they weren't, not really. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I'd gotten there just five minutes before you did. I didn't know what the jokes were either. I asked about one of them, and I got the story, and then you came along and you didn't know the in-jokes, uh, but most of them I didn't know. The references they made, I, I don't know if they were movies, I don't know if they, they were stories that they'd told earlier, I, I don't know what they were quoting. I laughed because, because everybody was laughing. I laughed because the mood was fun and funny. I laughed because, I laughed because I didn't realize it would look like I was leaving you out of something. I know that some of the loneliest moments are when you're with a group of people and you're the only one not in on the joke. I'm sorry that happened. And I'm especially sorry that you felt like I, I was more interested in what everyone else had to say and not you. That couldn't have been further from the truth. You're the one I went to the party with. You're the one I left with. You're the one I wanted to be with. I mean, we may have been apart long enough for you to have missed a few of the jokes earlier, but we weren't apart long enough for me to forget you. Come on now. <laughs> you of all people know how long it takes me to warm up to people. That was polite laughter at best. And when I do warm up to somebody like you, I don't cool off that quickly. <laughs> The irony of you being jealous. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> and the irony is that there was no one there I like as much as I like you. 
You're my favorite person. You're the one I don't feign polite laughter for. You're the one I can stand next to and not feel like I have to make fake small talk. You're the one I care enough about to try to be better. You're the one I care enough about to remove myself before I say something angry. And you're the one I care enough about to come back to and apologize. I am very sorry for the way I made you feel. And I'm sorry I couldn't explain it to you like this the moment you told me why you were upset. Are we good? Are we are we gonna be good? I'd I'd like us to be good. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> good. Hey there, Cupcakes. Thank you very much for joining me again. Thank you for your likes, your subscriptions, your your thumbs up, your comments, your shares. Uh, if you want to see my stuff, you might want to hit that notification bell because uh, I get spanked by the monetization bot on a regular basis and it doesn't always promote my stuff um, or share my stuff with you when it comes out. But thank you for being here either way. And of course, thank you to all my patrons with new names for a few of them. Let's see. Crazy Crafter is now and Vitality, where every man can own his own home and have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. A city where we shall find out where what tomorrow, I assume. Swaggy is now Day four, Dreamy gave me some lashes today while softly whispering in my ear. <laughs> you like that, don't you? My nights have become restless. <laughs> Jack is back to being, I wished for everlasting love. The love lasted, but the lover left. That's fine. That's a good one. I like that one. I mean, it's sad, but it's also kind of charming. And of course, as always, I'd like to give a special thanks to my patrons at my Pound Cakes and Bakers tier levels. Inline Flaws, Mr. Rickles, Anand, Always Able, Infinite Moon, Goose, Old Bean UK, Kalua Bear, Forces, Swaggy, Cody, Artlow, The Evening Star, Bellamy, Tomberry Shuffle, and Christian Kaleapa'a. Happy birthday, Christian. I'm so glad I get to spend part of your birthday with you. All right, you crazy cupcakes. Go out, have a great day, be as good to yourselves as you are to me, and I will talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>